So what is up guys, Killer Kevin today back with a brand new episode of 5 new console mods to hit the Bethesda.net website. This is going to be episode 50, we've hit that milestone of 50, woo! But without further ado guys, let's just jump straight into the video. For our first spot in this video is going to be a little mod called These Hands. And what this does is adds a pair of gloves to the Breeze home within Whiterun. Once you have entered that small house via the key or purchase of this property, upstairs table, for me it was on the Floor just because I don't have any extra interior or anything else within this home they're on the floor once obtaining them it increases the unarmed strikes do additional 30 points of damage pretty cool it's a nice little model if you're gonna throw it into a build video or if you just like running around punching people in the face that's entirely up to you I'm not gonna judge you but with the download size of 1.8 kilobyte of a download it's pretty damn cool TESG load screen replacer. Very nice mod indeed. This adds 205 high resolution screenshots that have been processed to resemble paintings. They are absolutely beautiful. I'm only going to be showing a few on screen now. I'm not going to be showing all 205, but from the aesthetic point of view and the visual point of view of this beautiful mod, it actually looks really damn cool. The little bit of a downside of this one though, if you are going to be running this absolute mammoth and beautiful load screen replacer is going to come at a price of 6.6 .6 a megabyte of a download that is very pricey for a loading screen mod but if you do have the space for it then why not indulge yourself in an absolute beauty load screen mod this is by far probably one of the best load screen replacers i've seen to date for the third spot in this video is going to be billy row weapons chapter two we did chapter one the other day it's exactly the same concept to the chapter two this one on the other hand adds seven new and unique weapons added into the world of tamarin and you're probably thinking how do i obtain these ones is it exactly the same as chapter one yes it is you're going to have to go to the points of interest the unidentified map markers within added to the game now go to those particular hotspots for this one it actually gives you a full breakdown of where all the weapons are but you are going to need to search for them once you get to that location once you're at that location and you do find these absolutely beautiful beautiful textured and meshed weapons then you can indulge yourself in a nice new sword or mace in this case as the video does display. I'm going to be showcasing the knightly mace and the sins dagger on this one really really nice definitely worth grabbing and if you're a little bit lackluster like myself and want two versions of this to have in each hand then personally grab the cheat room mod and then you can duplicate both of these weapons to have one in each hand which would look absolutely awesome and really cool to add to a build video. For the penultimate spot in this video is going to be a little mod or shall I say a port by Stealthy Wolf called the Selene Outfit. It's a standalone version of this particular armor and can be crafted within the leather section. It also can be upgraded and tampered so please do bear that in mind. Overall I think it's pretty damn cool. There is a little bit of clipping but I do believe that is due to my load order. I do have currently a lot of things running in my load order for a load of other different videos upcoming as well. But with that pushed aside Stealthy Wolf has been banging out some absolute gems on the Bethesda.net website go and check out the recent ones because I'm pretty sure he's done another new awesome pull and we do have quite a few of his other different mods in other different videos this week going forward and previous from this video go and check them out really cool and really do enjoy the ports that Stealthy Wolf does bring on the Bethesda.net and for the last spot in this video it's going to be Skyrim Reborn now, this has an absolute ton of stuff added into this mod for an incredibly low download size of 86.7 kilobyte now i'm not going to be reading every single thing that does come with this mod i'm going to give you a breakdown of what actually is included within this mod i'm going to give you a few references on the things that are in here so straight off the bat that pokes out to me is improve dragon aspect shout pick locking is always 100 percent vampire sun weakness is no longer to stop the regen vampires abilities improved and the lester powers adds a crafting category for storm cloak adds crafting recipe from the base game books of race abilities books to summon butlers and merchants with some cheat necklaces as well unlimited berserker rage unlimited werewolf charm and a bunch of other different stuff added into the game too an incredibly low down low size of this particular thing i'm not too sure how it fares up in configuration with the load order or other mods running in conjunction with this one personally though it is pretty damn cool and it has a ton of different stuff within the description we're going to check out all of it links down in the 
description with all of these mods go and check them out because this video is definitely a banger with all the mods that we do have in this video and i highly recommend all of them so guys i'd just like to say that has been episode 50 hopefully you have enjoyed this little road the road has only just begun though that is for sure i love making these videos for you guys and hopefully you can tell every single time i upload to the channel i really do like making these videos for you guys and hopefully that shines through and if it does hit me up with a like let me know in the comment section below how i'm getting along with this video series and if you're going to be grabbing any of these mods within this video too guys if you haven't subscribed already click the subscribe button share it with your dog or your friend it doesn't matter who click the bell to get daily notifications as well but until the next one guys killer kev here and killer kev out